Hey everybody, Chad Avalanche fan here with another Pokemon XD Gale Darkness walkthrough here on Super Walkthrough Saturday. Um, as I mentioned, just in case you didn't watch the first two videos, um, every Saturday I do three walkthrough videos of one game. So this week is Pokemon XD Gale Darkness, next week is Back Gone, and so on and so forth. So, in the last episode of Pokemon XD Gale Darkness, we kind of explored uh, Gatingport. We went to people's houses, we went to I guess the outer edge of it, and went to see the Gate and Port Lighthouse, and we caught uh, Poochie and Ladybug's Shadow Pokemon, which is interesting. So, for the rest of our, for part three of our exploration through Gate and Port, um, we're going to the Pokemart now. Talk to this guy here, and he wants a bonus. <laughs> no customer satisfaction there. Apparently this is the guy's first day, I would think, because he's nervous. There we go, now he's not nervous. So, um, the first Pokemon you can buy Potion, Antidote, Burn Heal, Ice Heal, Awakening, and Paralyzed Heal, but as the game progresses you can buy Pokeballs and all that here. Um, so for the meantime, we'll just buy a couple, you know, two Antidotes, two Burn Heals. I always like to keep at least two of everything with me, just in case. Um, like I said, you guys don't have to. Um, but I preferably like to keep two of everything, at least. Sometimes three, but generally most of the time I don't really buy them that often. So we go up here we meet Munchlax. Pokemon we're not supposed to know about, but we know about him already. Pokemon Falls. So that's what that calling's for. Huh. Okay, apparently if Pokemon falls asleep, you can wake it up or rouse up by calling it. So that's what that call button is for. I just thought that call button was near a way to skip turn uh, skip your Pokemon's turn or raise accuracy. Huh. How interesting. I think I already talked to this guy. Oh. Okay, no I didn't. You get a potion from him. Nice. I believe that's everyone in here. Oh. Okay, yeah, how are you supposed to see that person? Okay, you walk in here, you go over here. Okay, can you really see the person? You have to... It's like, oh, I can see him to that little crack right there. But it was no point. So, on that, that's basically the Pokemart. So, on that... We'll make our way to the crusty, I would say the crusty crab, but that's not right. Uh, the Krabby Club, I believe. Krusty Krabs in Bikini Bottom. So you walk in, you meet this guy. Or sorry, Krabby Club, I was right. So he says he can't get in unless you beat him in a battle. Well, we've already beaten three Shadow Pokemon, I'm sure we can beat this guy. So he uses Wingall and Lotad. Eevee and Teddy Ursa here. Alright, so let's see here we'll go. I don't think I'll be able to take Wingull out. No. Hopefully I should be able to take uh what's our Pokemon Lotad out, I think. Give me the attack fell in, Teddy Ursa attack fell with Growl. Alright, Shadow Blitz, Teddy Ursa. Oh my god, I didn't take Lotad out. Alright, next turn then. Another Growl. Wonderful. Alright. So we'll use Bite and Shadow Blitz. That should finish it off. One down. Sorry the glare's not all that good guys. I'm actually doing this in the morning, believe it or not, instead of at night. Um, so hopefully from here on out I'll do my videos at night, that way the quality will be a bit better than it is now. It's not so bad. Um, and apparently we beat Burke. We got 120 bucks. A 
Apparently there was no rule about trainers entering the Krabby Krub. I believe he talked to these guys. I think they just do a little poem, which I don't ne never get. Hmm. The shipping traffic's down this much. It's not much. Uh, blah, 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 blah. One just comments on stuff, and then the other one just says, I'd say so, matey. Blah, 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 blah. I'd say so, matey. Wow. Alright, I was just... whatever. So we enter the Krabby Club. Got like that kind of bar type music. So apparently all the guys are happy that Mr. Verich is here. Apparently Mr. Verich is... Whoa. So apparently this is where Mr. Verich comes by after... And so Mr. Verich has a VIP room upstairs. Maybe huh? So Mr. Verich is quite the important man in Gate and Port. He brings business up. Um, so a little secret though, if you walk to this, I guess, wooden plank, you can go to a secret room downstairs. And I believe this is Super Potion down here? So you get your first super potion. I'm sure Joby's getting pretty miserable falling around all the time. Alright, so then you go up here. I believe this is where Mr. Verich is. Yes, you can talk to Ardos. And he recognized you as the kids from earlier. And Joby thanks him again for saving Joby. And he just says, no, nah, I was just putting a fool in this place. Then you can talk to uh, this guy, who we don't know his name yet. So he always, so he's saying that Mr. Barrett tends to his many important businesses undertaken from Gatonport, and they do a lot of traveling. And they get some rare time off, they like to relax in their VIP room. And basically they just wants to shut up and go away, pretty much. Let me talk to the captain here. Let me take a look at the Eevee. And he says Evie's apparently happy. Even the bartender up here, she tells us it's Mr. Verge again and that he lets everyone feast on his money. So I guess he's buying everyone downstairs a drink. So now you can go up here, go to see if you can talk to the magicians. And they're just... They just pretty much ignore you, they're working. But you can also go up these stairs here, which I don't think has nothing much. Talk to this guy, I don't think he doesn't give you anything. He's making his debut. So I'm guessing this is like the waiting room for actors. And there's Krabby. I believe these two. Krabbly and Krabbetty. I'm guessing they were unleashing bubble, I'm guessing. <laughs> or trying to. I believe the guys. Oh, they've been here the longest. <laughs> Alright, so other than that, that's pretty much it for Gate and Port. Um, once or twice you may get to come back. Once or twice you can come back here, I believe. The only thing I remember about Gate and Port where you have to come back um, just for an item, I believe. Sooner or later, when Mr. Verich and all these guys leave, I believe you can get an item on that table there in the center when they leave, but I don't think that's for a while, if I'm not mistaken. So if I forget about it, then I do. Then if I do remember it, then I'll go back and get it. So other than that, I believe that's pretty much it. Nothing else, else much. So I think all we'll do for the rest of this episode is just... Um, go back to the lab and then we'll kind of wrap it up for the day. Just be a good place to finish. So, wave goodbye to Gatonport.
We'll go back there eventually, but not for a while. So back to the lab and... Oh look, Aiden's waiting for us. So he found some more memos with a shadow Pokemon. So I believe you get three, four, and Cray Memo 4 and Cray Memo 5, I believe. Yeah. And I believe that's it after that. And again, those memos are just um, about uh, basically about the shadow Pokemon. So if you know about them, then you're good. And if you don't, then I would re re recommend you read them. But seeing as I've played this game so many times, I don't think I've ever read them once. So I believe... So we'll get the machine part back to Lily, but I believe she's upstairs in the room where we saw her last. So we'll just take a shortcut here to the professor's lab. And then get through here. And there's Lily, so you talk to her. Um, and Basically, Joby explains how some mean guy harassed Joby. But Josh about that later. So they ask for the machine part in. We obviously give it to Lily. So this will put the finishing touches on the purified chamber. And Joby wants to take it downstairs. Yeah, don't drop it, Joby. Otherwise, the whole mission will be ruined. I remember once where I think I did get um, 10 years, so like pretty much the last stage of purification, I believe, I think. But she just asked about it. Yeah, she asked how the heart gate is 1 to 0. Obviously not yet. So basically, they say when the heart gate is 1 to 0, the shell will point and open its heart. So Lily says since the purified chamber is not ready, we have to do the purification process a different way. And she mentions a gate village which has a relic stone, which is, I believe, related to Celebi who can purify Pokemon. Well, I guess I have to, so sure, why not? So a gate village, it's not a new place. It was in the previous, po po in the previous game, Pokemon Coliseum. And that's what's going to happen for a while. We're going to be visiting more of the older places from the first uh, Pokemon Coliseum game. So, we'll just make our way downstairs first. Um, so, we'll work our way down here. Go to the outside of the lab, and we'll stop here. <laughs> so we'll so we'll stop it here for now. Um, so on that, on the next episode, we're gonna go to a gate village and hopefully find the relic stone purified to the Urso. And on that, guys, see you at the next episode.